This is an auto sleeper, Symbol Plus. Now the Symbol is one of the most popular auto sleepers and the Plus means that it's a bit longer. This is a six meter van. The standard Symbol I think is five and a half meters from memory. And this is a brand new one in as much as it's got the latest uh, cab on this one and the latest engine. It's 160 horsepower but it's actually got the nine speed auto in it. It's a series eight cab, which is the very latest that they're doing on here. So you've got the latest instrumentation in here, for example, latest steering wheel, and you can see the auto selector in here as well. As I say, this is an automatic, which is quite rare and a very, very nice feature. But the reason I'm coming in this way, is I want to show you this as well. This one's actually got adjustable air suspension, so you can actually change the settings here using a compressor if you want to. So very up to date, very modern, this one's got the premium pack on it, so that means it's got a few extras over and above. One thing I will point out is the fact that there's no gas bottles on this. It actually has a tank built in under the floor, so you just take that to a garage and fill it up. This is your 240 volt power into the vehicle. This is quite neat because you've got the water tank here, but you've also got an ability to pump water into the vehicle. So if you're wild camping, for example, you could pump water from a river in through there. That one is the uh, 12 volt power and the SAT TV aerial input so we can see it's the symbol plus it's a very nice layout in this it comes right to the very back of the vehicle now what that does mean is that you don't get any kind of boot as such here because they're taking the accommodation right to the back and using it all so what you do have here is access to things like the cassette for the toilet is accessed from here you can get to the um, some of the plumbing the um, stopcocks that are in there for example and more of the engineering areas in there. Let's close that back up. Because it's got the premium pack, you've also got things like the awning down on the outside. You can see it's got lighting in there as well, which is nice. It's got a nice alloy wheels on it as well. That one there is enabling you to plug in a barbecue, which is a nice feature. So it's straight into the LPG tank. That's pretty good. If we come on around here, this is where we access the vehicle. So let's slide this one open. There's a little button down here that powers the door open, not the door, the step. <laughs> I know what I mean. And in we go. Now this one's got three seat belts and it sleeps two. So there is a seat belt for this seat here. We'll start right from the front. We had a look at the cab already, but we'll just put the camera in from this side so you can see it all. I say that is bang up to date in there. You've also got a little storage area above it and in fact there's a freestanding table in there. There's two tables for this vehicle but the idea of this one is it's a bit larger but also because it's freestanding you can take it outside. And finally of course you've got the seats which swivel so this one here will spin around the same as that one. Now back here it's quite clever because you've got a settee down this side and this one here then is a seat, as you can see, which makes this actually quite a nice social area because you've got seating around here, around here and across here. But what this one does, and I'm not sure if I can do this one handed, but I'm going to have a go, is we lift that one there. Hang on. There we go. That whole thing drops completely flat. Let's take that all the way forward. That one comes out like so. And that then gives you your second bed. So you've got a bed on that side, a bed on that side. And in fact, there is also an infill. If we look underneath here, that slides out so that you can infill the center section and have a big double bed there if you prefer. And then to put that back, you just, he says, <laughs> say it is easier with two hands, but there we go. Doable with one. And that slides back in place like that. You've got a skylight up above that opens as well. This is storage along here, like so. And then of course you've got the windows with the curtains. These are quite neat. These are uh, lights that actually slide on tracks so you can move these around like so. Put them wherever you want. That's pretty clever. And you've also got blinds that come up over these windows as well, like this. And in fact, if we put it the other way, we get a fly screen and they slide open as well of course so that is your lounge area now what you really gain with this over the standard symbol is back here because this area here is much larger and much nicer so if we come down this side first of all that's just a bit of storage tucked away in there 
and up there the other thing i'll just show you as well actually is up here you've actually got the uh, systems for the vehicle up here so that's all controlled on there you can get into the water pump lights all that kind of thing is all controlled from there and that one there i think i'm right in saying is the central heating but let's head on back down this side this is nice really nice size uh, toilet and shower area for a vehicle of this size but I mean, it is a wet room of course um, but as I say for this six meter vehicle that's pretty good that slides closed like so you've also got then a load of storage in here which is nice and then that's some of the aerial systems and that kind of thing up at the top head on around a bit further and look at this how nice is that proper l-shaped kitchen in here it's a dual hob so one of those is electric so that's when you're plugged into your 240 volt but you also have gas there as well and of course it's an oven underneath like so and again load of storage dotted about the place like that and up above as well i won't open them all but you certainly get the idea now over on this side there's a microwave there's a coffee maker which is a nice touch and then your fridge is down underneath this one and then the other thing to show you here is inside this one because it is a hanging locker you can see the rail for it just there but these are the infill cushions to make this into a double bed up at the front and also there's a smaller table here on a leg and what that does is it pops in into that socket there it gives you a smaller table just to sort of start to put your drinks and that kind of stuff but that's a nice vehicle they've done a good job with that i like that let's come right to the back and you can see the whole thing then very nice indeed so there you go auto sleeper symbol plus huge thanks to nickwell motorhomes they've organized this tour for me and huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching we'll catch you on another one of these very soon take care Bye bye